Hello everybody, welcome back to more Astro Narc. Let's get into it. What do we want to do? We I want to get a successful run. That much I know. Uh, there's got to be something that we have not really utilized very much. Uh, let's see, the first time you reduce below 50% max HP, increase your attack and defense by 20, heal for 15... I mean... Let's get the Juggernaut in there, right? Or, or who did we... We didn't bring a Gladiator last time either. I... I've been informed that apparently For Glory is retroactive, so we don't necessarily need to take him right away. We can bring him in in the future. Uh, let's say we'll take the Paladin. This is actually starting to... Wait, hold on. Is this the exact team we started with uh, prior? Uh, we could take the Warlock. The Warlock's such a weird one. Like, the passive is so interesting. The fact that it only starts working when somebody gets knocked out. I don't know. I don't know how to yeah how to super utilize that. Do 200 attack damage to a random enemy and heal yourself and an ad and adjacent heroes for the damage dealt. I mean that sounds really good too to try and go for like a little bit of a. Let, let, let's swap things out. I don't know if we want to go for somebody who is mostly a shielder because I'm not going to say that that disenergizes with the heal, but like. I, Increased max HP would be better than the shield, or just further increased healing could be better. Uh, so maybe we do... You know what? No, let's, let, we'll keep the Paladin. It sounds good to me. But the real question is... Maybe we just do bring in the Gladiator, get somebody who is a, a very high HP unit. Right like that. Let's, let's do it. We'll go something like this. We, we have not used this team before. That much I do know. I do want to mention, uh, the copyright issues with the music apparently have indeed been fixed. So I am uh, free to just let everything rock. Which is a very exciting thing. <laughs> For me, I, I you know, it, it's, a, it's a shame some of the music was like, I really did like it. But it's just, you know, if it's going to cause issues, then, you know, we can't have it. That's just, that's just how it is. Uh, all heroes increase their max HP at all times. All heroes increase their attack at all times. So a fun a fun thing here is that Soul Ripper scales its healing based off of our damage. So let's actually let's go with attack damage. Let's go all in there. Uh, which one of these was the healing? Okay, so let's head to the let's head to the caves here. All right. Let's analyze our team again here. So, so this is indeed adjacent, adjacent, and not adjacent. So, okay. No, no adjacent abilities here. Deal bonus damage if your target has. If they're almost dead, then do double damage. Basically, it's it's just a big old smack attack. It's just a big old smack attack. You and all adjacent. So who is... You have way more defense. So right now, I feel like... I think the Paladin is our main tank until maybe in the future we'll swap, like, switch swap it up. Tags. Burn your target and any adjacent enemies for 40% attack damage over 10 seconds. Okay. All right. So we got... Healing received is increased by 15%. Starting MP minus ability cost. Or every three times you attack, apply either frost or a burn for 50% attack damage. Um, I feel like Holy Charm is a really good start. I feel like it's a really good start. Uh, we'll, we'll put it on you for now. We'll probably adjust that in the future there. We'll continue on in the cave since this is a place where we are not too penalized. Obviously the damage, okay. Okay. Damage shield. So shield counts as damage shield. It's just I, I like that. Okay, I'm glad that that is on there. It's kind of like uh, yeah, damage damage mitigated more so. That burn is really not doing that much. Uh, <laughs> to, to to be honest. Uh, but I, yeah, I like the fact that we can get the warlock. We can buff him up. Your attacks have a 20% chance to deal an additional 50% attack damage to your target. Maybe. Uh, five attack. Your attacks increase your speed. Unless speed does inf uh, impact our mana per second, which I don't think it does. That's not that big of a deal to me. Uh, I kind of like the idea of Lich's Wrap, but I'm going to go with the High Elf Claymore here. Because it both increases our damage output and our healing 
that we will do, at least as soon as we get into fights where we will actually... Oh, boy. Gain an ability orb. You know what? Go big or go home. That... <laughs> That's such. That was such a bad idea. Why would I do it? I should have gone home. All right. So we we, uh, we took ten morale damage so that we could get what upgraded. Our I can't remember. Is this our? That's our passive. So the burn. I would say. How much is their max HP reduced? So we get to pick an item. The start of combat gain sixty frail defense. Uh, thirty starting mana. Out of 80 there, 30 starting mana. So if you can combat gain a shield, I mean, it does sound good. I'm kind of thinking of going for this, especially right now since we uh, we put ourselves in a, a wee bit of turmoil. I don't know how much... Oh, reduced by... Uh, okay. I mean, it's reduced by quite a bit, but it could be way worse. Attackers, reduce your active ability cost by 3 MP. How much? You got 85 attack. We could maybe... um. Well, if he stays here, then he can get healed. I wish we could just switch the target, so... I wish you were attacking him, or uh, we could have you attack him and you attack him, but we both all be in this big old group here. That would have been the ideal, t to be honest. But I think we just rock it. We rock it and hope that we do enough damage here, and this frail defense will put in enough work for us. We're gonna get ourselves a shield here. That helps a lot. That helps uh, uh, quite a bit here. So we're done there. This AOE should heal us. Okay, yeah, it heals us a bit. It's not, you know, it's not a ton. It's not a ton, but we're done there. You target enemies in the back row first. Maybe. 15 starting MP. At the start of combat, reduce the attack and defense of all enemies by 20. That seems really good. Starting MP goes up. Reduce attack and defense, but the the arbalist though. Oh, that's super tempting. But the thing is, if we're if we don't have two like people who are attacking the back line first, I, I no, nah, let's do it. We'll 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 do it. All enemies lose mana. Could be a good call. I can't believe we've done this. We put our morale this way. We get a backpack, just a free item, starting MP and ability costs down. So this is upgraded. Oh, wait. Oh, it is the active ability. Okay. The active ability was indeed the thing that was upgraded. We'll start with this there, though. Uh, elite battle. Should we? Probably not. I'm going to use the mana bomb, though, if we can uh, if we can rock it. Attackers gain 5 MP and grant you 10 MP. Heal for 40% of any enemy healing effects. Okay. So we're actually going to swap that over to this for this fight. Piercing damage to all enemies. Okay. Just get ready. Okay. I mean that should that should help us out a decent amount here at the very least. This uh this elite has not given us that much trouble in the past. Here comes the uh, piercing hit though. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal. I, I genuinely, it's not that bad. Not that bad. I, I, I am proud of my pivot there on that item. <laughs> 10 defense, steal 1 MP from attackers. Ooh. Ooh. Let's get that. I do want to upgrade our gladiator. I don't want to leave him just like high and dry there. You know what? Sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll rock that. I'll rock that. You better believe it. Let's do one MP for tactic. Can we get that up to... Do we get that up to two when we upgrade it? Increase your speed by 40% for six seconds. That's pretty good. I do really like the concept of that. Apply frost to a random enemy every two seconds. I really like that as well, but I think that we upgrade something. Plus 20 defense, steal two MP from attackers. 90 frail defense. Increase your healing received by even more. Uh, I 
I like the idea of that, because every time we get hit, we uh, we will be moving up our MP even more there then. Um, I would like to have reduced cost, though, even. That could end up being extra, extra good. But, alas, alas, lose, wait, lose tower shield plus to duplicate the high elf claymore, uh, duplicate the royal arbal, eh, maybe, royal arbalist. I definitely don't hate that. I do not hate the idea of that. Duplicate the robes of absor absorption plus to lose the lich's wraps. Um. Yeah. You were sure. And I guess we'll just put that on him in case we lose somebody. Sure, sure. I guess we're going to the shop again because we don't. I mean, what else are we going to do? I'm just going to say hello there and goodbye. I'm going to look at this stuff. At the start of combat, gain a major blessing for every five morale you have. That's a really cool item. That is a really cool item. But we're going to be moving on. The question is, should we do the elite battle? Use target's own mana against them. This is, you know what? We're going feisty. We're going feisty in the beginning here. Going all in here. I mean, yeah, okay. Attack reduced to piercing damage equal to your defense. Okay, so... I guess we should wait until his negate is gone. Then we pop that bad boy on there. Reduce his attack. I was going to say we wait until his, uh, his active ability, but it doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal. Since, um... God, this AoE shield is putting in so much work here even though it's piercing like i just realized how useful that is for situations like that where we you know just mitigation is is huge all right you're okay your attacks poison your target dealing five damage every three seconds for the rest of combat uh what is your speed 1.7 that's pretty good it's pretty good could do something like that fine that's your job right now you are a uh, just a, a whip whip maker I, you know like I, as good as this is we're not really gonna be buffing up the paladins damage so I don't really care that much uh, gladiator is really our go-to guy we could opt for another strategy too of literally just not spending those orbs until later Okay, instead of dealing damage, your attacks apply a poison for 100% attack damage every 3 seconds to your target. So that goes through shields. Apply negate to all enemies. Apply negate to all enemies? That's kind of funny. Uh, we don't really want to steal their MP then, do we? Well, but we want the defense. But poison ignores defense. God, this is such a weird. Oh, this is so weird. Because this is a their their spell. It's actually really good for us. So, do we take off the robes of absorption? Like, is the forty d? I feel like the forty defense is is important. We'll see how this goes. It seems like they still cast it at the same time. So, by steal 2 MP, does it actually just mean... Oh, come on. Come on, 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 come on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We got wrecked. That... You know, it makes sense because a lot of things that were keeping us alive there was the uh, adjacency shield. And unfortunately, our super high defense... I mean, logically so... Right, we're in uh, what zone? We're in this one right here. Bypassing their defenses. Uh, it doesn't matter that we had super high defense. Sure, we'll do that. Oh boy. Um, I'm going to be going for another combat here. I really regret that 10 morale trade. Oh my god, this too. Oh no. That ain't good. That ain't good. 
Oh, that really ain't good. I don't really want to... I, like, I want to split the damage, but I also don't want to split the damage because if we split the damage, we also split the ability to get the shields and heals. Oh, this is... This is the pits, man. I mean, what are we going to do? Just got to go for it. The good news is we might be able to bop this backline. Put that shield on. Put that shield on. Put that shield on. It's not that it's not that good. Oh, that's not that good. Oh, the backline needs to go. We are in so much turmoil. We are in so much turmoil. We should heal over time. We we actually should do really well in a 1v1 scenario. We're actually getting wrecked. Cuz our mana per time is going up. Oh my god. All right. We uh we really should not have taken that 10 penalty there. Okay. Uh, I, I need to get the, ourselves into a situation where we... Uh, oh, God. Maybe we do put that on there. I, mean, I, I, I want to turn him into a tank. Right? I will want to turn him into a tank. The question is literally just like, are we going to be okay getting up there? Gain five morale, lose five gold. All heroes gain 50 max HP permanently. I uh, Unfortunately, I think I need to do this. As much as I do not want to, we are going to do that. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll take a look here. Ah, but the case. The activability targets between reducing their speed and their activability costs going up. Stun to your target and stun all enemies, so it doesn't... Adjacency doesn't matter. Alright. Um... No big deal. Just trying to decide if I want something else other than the defense. I think that the defense is going to be really, really good. I mean, we're at 150 defense. These hits should not do very much to us, one would think. Oh, no. Please get that shield on. Okay. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Shield incoming. No! That was the perfect wrong time! That sucks. That sucks so bad. That was the absolute perfect wrong time. Oh, no. Please, please, please stay alive to use your ability once more. Please, please, please. Oh, my God. All right. Well, we're going to be healing over time. We actually might be okay. Yeah. This is not going well. This is not going well. <laughs> uh, gain divine. Maybe. When you heal a hero by any means, random damage hero is additionally healed for 30% of the value. Wait, so when we heal three separate targets, does that... Does that work? I don't know, man. All I know is we are in a right pickle. Who's got, like, who's got really good attack speed? 2.1, I mean, that's... Juggernaut. Juggernaut's got some good stuff. Ronin actually does too. 10% chance to apply the bleed. Uh, hmm. I mean, I do like the idea of the Frostmancer as well for this. Boy, oh boy. Let's get the Pyromancer since it synergizes pretty decently with the fact uh, the Paladin's passive attack there. All right. Let's make haste here. Merchant prices are reduced. Heroes deal piercing 20 piercing damage to attackers. Shield gained by all heroes is increased by 30%. I think we get that, right? Let's get that. Uh, close that up for a second. Let's do some adjusting. We'll put this stuff over here. We'll get that over there. Make you an actual 
actual tank now. You got a, a huge amount of HP. Should be very, very helpful. Wait. Do, uh, wow. Two different random enemies. Huge. That's the... Okay. That's the passive there. 4%. Um, you attacks and attacks against you burn the enemy for 30%, 60% attack. All right, sure. And then we can pop that bad boy on there. Okay. Okay. We're in there. We're in there. Stifle your healing. Probably not great. Lead you dry. I guess we'll, I think that the middle path is largely going to be what we are uh, strong against. So I do kind of want to rock this um, this multi-tank strat now. I would like to make sure we... Ooh. 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 Backline there. Don't like that. Oh, there goes that AoE shield. That's huge. All right. Come on now. Come on. Get that healing off. Oh, that's big. Oh, that's huge. Okay. Great. Great. All right. It's coming together. I think we just need a really, really good tanky unit. Gain 40% more mana per second. Start of combat, you and all adjacent allies gain a shield. Maybe. Maybe we rock that. I mean, we do... Oh, a shield equal to 50% of your max HP? I mean, that's uh, that's amazing. Hold on. Because his max HP is a hell of a lot. Shield attackers have a chance to grant you negate. Apply negate themselves. Weird. Remove all your targets MP and deal piercing damage equal to three times the amount removed. Uh, we might want to silence. We'll consider silencing. Okay. So that does, that, that initial shield helps us out a decent amount right there. I don't think we need to waste this here. Okay. All right, we're in there. We're in there. Starting MP, gain immunity to silence, attack steal... Damage equal to 3% of your current HP to your target. I mean, I do like the idea of that for sure. I mean, you don't have very much HP. I would love to give the Giants Club to the Gladiator, obviously. Like, that sounds very fun. But I think we really need him to be pretty tanky for now. We could get the Giants Club and then eventually run a second tank. Like the next fight, we could get a second tank. Let's do that. We'll, we'll run the Giants Club on you. I know it's bad right now. Don't don't worry. Uh, it's not that big of a get. But I will hopefully be able to transfer that to the Gladiator and we can pick up maybe the uh, the Juggernaut next time. All allies change their target to match yours. I feel like we definitely want to have you be the one who would do that. All right. You've got a lot less defense. Who does more damage? Warlock did technically more damage. I don't know if that's going to hold true here. Yeah, that initial shield is really, really useful. Okay. Yeah! Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Disarmed. Thank you for the shield. Okay, that was, it was a little bit tighter than I would have liked. Uh, 50 HP, 10 defense, start a combat, gain and a gate. That's very tempting as well. chance to apply either frost or burn I mean you don't have very high attack damage I guess um I'll, I'll keep that in my back pocket because maybe the negate will really really work for us you know like in some special specific fight Oh my god, apply doom to all enemies. 
shoot. Gain shield, have a chance to, yeah, 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 give you the negate. I kind of want to put the negate on somebody, but. Who would I put it on? Warlock the most. You know what? Let's do that for now. Because if everybody else dies and we want one unit left alive, it would make sense for us to have it be the... Uh... Okay, so we did not negate the doom. It's all right. We're actually going to be just fine. Everybody... Okay. Well, the paladin almost died, but whatever. They didn't, so we're fine. Increase your max HP by 10 per second. Does not increase your current HP. Certainly interested. Mm, certainly interested. I mean, I love, I love this item. I don't think it's a surprise. Alright. Who would we want to even put this on? We could put it on the Paladin and then, like, swap over a different... Yeah, I feel like Saint's Vow and Tower Shield kind of, like, working together feel kind of nice. Because the frail defense is good at the beginning and the extra max HP is good at the end there. Mm. It's tough though. Yeah, I mean, we're just going to get another uh, more uh, typical tank, I guess, soon. I think that's the plan. I think we work from there. Tax supply leech. We have we have more items than we know what to do with. So unless any of these are like amazing for us. Oh that does sound really fun. That sounds really fun though. But I'm gonna upgrade something else. Um what do we got here? This was Arcane Stabilizer, 30% of your I mean. Let's do that, right? Can we sell this? We can for 10. It's 20, 25. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I just... Ah. I hate what I've done. 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 But that's a 576 shield to everybody at the start of combat. That's kind of massive. And we will put that on him as soon as we get ourselves another tank. We'll keep this item on him, even if he's not quite like our frontline or something like that. I'm going to make sure we continue to do more normal battles because that generates us more morale. I minor curse to all enemies every blah blah blah. Do damage to random enemies. I'm super happy that we have the uh <laughs> super happy we are gonna have that massive shield right away. Yeah, that's so helpful. So helpful. Oh my god, it's so good. It's so good. This team is really it it turned into something very powerful. Your attacks increase your defense by two. Maybe. Oh, this is upgraded. Tax deal additional 60% damage to, an, to a different random enemy. Sure. We'll take that then. We don't have very much money. Let's go to an event. If we had like an actual substantial amount of income, sure. All heroes reduce the cost of their active abilities by three MP permanently. Just for free. Hell yeah. Why on earth would I have an issue with that? Beats the hell out of me. 25% chance to loot. 25% chance we do a fight. Sure. Request. Let, let's. Uh, oh, wait. This guy's. This guy was spooky, wasn't he? Wait for them to come back so we can open it. 
Uh, always target the enemy with the highest HP. Okay, I mean, your attack is reduced by 450. You cannot gain MP while you have allies. Well, you don't have allies. Uh, gain 40% speed if your target is below 50 max HP. Okay, so if you're going to be always targeting the person with the highest... That's solid enough. Hmm. Hmm. That'll work. That'll work good enough. Um, I do wonder if... Maybe we put on the Holy Charm instead. For now. 20 attack. I mean, genuinely, this is probably going to be better for us. I don't know why I even have that other one. All right. Here we go. Cross them fingers. All right. Put that shield on. Put that shield on, baby. Put that shield on, baby. All right. So we might die, but he's very dead as well. Good. Awesome. Flawless victory. Get an extra three morale. Good. I don't know why I risked that so much. I thought we were going to get like an actual... Ooh. This sucks. I thought we were going to get an actual, you know, uh, <laughs> like item. I don't know why I thought that. Gain hidden. Gain 60 starting MP. Target the back row first, of course. Apply front, five frost to your target. Act ability. I think we will silence. This is inherently pretty garbage for us. Wait. Wait. Is it sim it's as simple as this. What am I doing? Okay. Do we swap something back? I mean, that's, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We maybe just leave this, to be honest. Oh, I should... That was a waste. Oh, no, it wasn't, because that, that slowly goes down. Good, good, good. It was not a waste. There goes that attack. We're actually... We're fine. We're fine. This is not bad at all. For some reason, I thought these ones... These ones would be attacking our front line, a.k.a. our actual normal back line, but no. Twas not the case whatsoever. Your attacks increase your speed. I mean, see, that's kind of what I'm thinking. We can put that on you. Yeah, we'll, we'll go for that. And I think we maybe even swap out the Royal Arbalist there. What is the middle line? Uh, yeah. I hate I hate it, but I am uh, very much going to do it. It's the Grave Digger. Uh-oh. Okay, so... Enemy that has done the most damage is probably going to be the Pyromancer over the course of the fight. So we'll have to keep that... Our eyes out for that. Okay. Get that mana generating there. Okay. Here comes another attack on our Pyromancer. That was not too bad. The shielding is actually really, 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 really working. We're back at full. We got that shield. Ladies and gentlemen. It's just too easy. It's just too easy. Shield equal to your defense. So maybe, you know what? We probably should keep that tower shield back on him. Oh, there's another tower shield. <laughs> there's just another tower shield. That being said, I, I, I do want to keep this, though. Sure. Do we do another big fight just because we can? All heroes gain 250 shield and defense. I think we slap that on him. 
All right, what's this? Uh, enemy active abilities cost an additional 20% MP. You gain 20% of the MP expended. Deal 25% attack damage to all enemies and steal random positive effects. Hope that can't be shields. If they don't have an effect stolen, they bleed. Okay. I don't think we adjust anything for that. I don't know how well this is going to go, though, but... We'll just, we'll just see how this strike goes. Oh, God. So the bleeding is piercing. Okay, so there's the healing. That, that, uh, 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 uh. Oh, my God. We, uh, everybody almost died there. Your first hand attacks grant 3 MP. Uh, I think we just take this extra upgrade. All of your damage is dealt as if the enemy has less... Uh, we do that, right? I think the shield is helping us more than the heal, but it's kind of nice to have both, just in case. But they, like, like I was saying in the beginning, like, uh, all of the heals from the Soul Ripper aren't really doing that much. Because everybody's shielded, you know? I'm loving this, though. Oh, what did this end up being? It ended up being a fight. It ended up being a fight here. Okay, so everybody wants to attack you, though. God, I wish that we could shield outside of our square. That's what's so tough, is you really have to decide if it's okay to you that you take all that damage. I really don't want... <laughs> uh... Deal 150% attack damage to your target. All allies change their target to match yours. We could... No. Annoyingly, I think we just keep this here. Uh, gain the shield. Attackers have a chance to negate. To grant you negate. Basically, who do we want dead first? Hmm. Disarm. I mean, these are all kind of a, these are all kind of bad. Do we want the guards down, or I think we go for the wretch because the wretch is really like low HP. I think we can just get it out of the way very quickly. Do 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 do. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Okay, this is sketchy for sure. Alright, pop that shield on. Alright. How much damage is that gladiator doing now? Ooh, I should have seen what it was doing before, but it's doing as much as the pyromancer is now. It's really... It's putting in work. The pyromancer really does obviously shine in uh, long, long-term fight environments. Oops. Chance to apply frost. Let's get another Cobra's Reach there. Super, super poison. How about that? Super poison and fire at the same time. Ba da da, dee doo. Ba da da, da da da. Instead of being knocked out, heal 25% max HP, remove all negative effects. That's pretty darn good. That is an odd bean indeed. Hmm. It's pretty substantial. Up to 30, stealing 3. I do like that as well. I obviously like the concept of that. Of course I do. Of course I do. Doing 10 damage. For I mean, that's, that's kind of huge. That's kind of huge, but I really need to make sure my, uh, my front line is good. Because when this guy gets defense, everybody on my entire team gets more shielding. So I think that that's pretty important for us. Look at that. That's 110 defense. And that's before we get the 60. That's kind of massive. Obviously, like, situations where shielding gets ignored is problems. Big problems.
That's fine. It's fine to me. All right. So yeah, the fact that he's slowly gaining HP means that this uh, the the necromancer's attack is actually you know putting in work. Uh, yikes! No, please, 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 please. Oh, thank you. Last moment there. It's because he switched his target because of that active ability back there. Please, come on. Please, please, thank you. Oh, boy, oh boy. Oh, boy. Boy, oh boy. Oh, boy. Boy, oh boy. Oh, boy. Oh boy. <laughs> I mean, it's just pretty stupid. <laughs> it's pretty stupid, but why not, right? Let's get stupid. All right, what was your deal? Your attack strike twice, dealing additional 100% damage split among any enemies adjacent. Oh, I hate that. Apply Doom to the enemy with the least HP. It's, okay, so it's split. It's split, and we actually... That's actually really ideal. That's perfect for us, now that I think about it. I was like, oh no, we don't want it to be split. But we do, because we have AoE shielding. So it being split is actually really good for us in a weird way. Yeah. Oh god, this guy is absolutely nothing. This guy is absolutely nothing. We hard counted that guy so much. Look at how much damage the Pyromancer did. Stacking literally just three of them? Why not? Uh, Gain shield. Wait, at the start of combat and every five seconds, gain shield equal to 150% of your defense. Massive. Uh, probably just put that on, right? Act ability deals, deals 75 piercing da attack damage to a random enemy. Ooh. That's a very fun item. Attacks remove a stack of frost from your target if successful. Deal 50% of your damage. These are all such cool items. I have to go with this. And I I think we plop it on, plop it on him there. Do we get a more traditionally tanky unit? Do we get the Juggernaut? We could get the Wild... Oops. We could get the Wild Mage as well. Actually. Actually. Making the Wild Mage a full tank with this passive... I think is a very fun idea. As kind of like an off tank. Maybe we... Yeah, that's what we do. We just... We'll rock the full tank and two kind of like off tanks here. Double the effect of potions. Item received from combat. Twice as likely to be upgraded. Extra potion slots. Double the effects of potions. Let's double the effects of potions. So these ones come back from the dead. You know, I don't really know on these. Let's uh, let's get a little, little action here, though. 150% of your defense. At the start of combat and every five seconds is pretty big. So... Hmm. We'll give you the shielding. It's good to have you finally have this, uh, this freedom to just be this way. Because you are a very tanky individual. It's going to take a while for that initial shield to go away, but I think it'll be good. Oh, I mean, you know, it's 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 going to be weird, that's for sure. But uh, this is the passive, that's the burn. You already upgraded there. Attack damage multiple times. I guess we'll get the Warlock upgrade, and then we'll probably upgrade... Every time your shield is depleted... Yeah, sure. Sure, 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 sure. And then I guess we just give him attack damage for now. How tanky are you? I mean, you're going to get extra tanky with that 60. You're, you're, you're not very tanky. Honestly, the gladiator's not particularly tanky either. Shoot. You know what? 
we'll leave you down there. We'll, we'll, uh, trial by fire, my boy. Trial by fire. Welcome. Wait. Okay, no, yeah, that's that's his own shield. That's his own shield. That's that's about right. Okay. I do feel like he's going to become deceased, but this, uh, honestly, this t tower shield is putting in some pretty good work. Okay. Yeah. So, Maiden's Mirror. Interesting note. Maiden's Mirror is not only adjacent. Target is defeated. Gain extra attack and speed. Eh. Eh. That did not work out that great. Okay, we have that backline thing there. Remove a random negative effect. Who's our highest damage? I mean, that's over the course of time. Alright, 240 attack, 20 attack when an enemy uses an active ability, deal damage to your target and adjacent enemies, redirect any enemies targeting you to their next target. Okay, I think that's the ideal. Uh, your attacks deal double damage if your target has any shield, ouch! Deals piercing damage equal to 25% of your target's max HP, heal damage dealt to deal 25% of your target's shield. Okay, so we're gonna probably want to stun right away, right? We're kind of like hard counted by that guy. Oh my, it doubles it up to eight seconds from four. That's crazy. Oh my God. I mean, it can't be used on a boss fight, so. All right, come on. Heal him up, heal him up, heal him up. I just, uh, we need to, we need to solve that. I, I guess we need to put the gladiator down there. Uh, attacks deal extra damage equal to your defense. As fun as that sounds. Actually. No, it, none of that is really... I probably should have taken the, just the straight up money. Uh, but... Boy, this is a... This is a, it's a goofy one. Because he's obviously not tanky. Not, not right now. He may become tanky. Oh, let's hit an event. Let's hit an event. We have a good amount of morale, you know. Okay, well, this event is just a fight. To the enemy. Okay. Gains divine while hidden. Yeah. He's just an annoying little little goblin. Okay, so you're you're attacking him anyways. But him being there, he'll get the shielding effect. I think this is a better situation. Oi. It's definitely getting a little more grim, for sure. Okay. We're in there, we're in there. I think we're gonna be fine. The question is just literally if this guy is going to die. It's literally all it is. Ah, you piece. Like, I, I do want to switch things up and uh, put another one over. Yeah, I, I don't know. Oh, well. Let's just take the money. Like, I want another unit over there, but it's just... It feels weird to split things up when they're not going to get the shields. I guess we could put the... Well, no, the Warlock really makes sense to have <laughs> in this row. Maybe we could put this guy over there. Or maybe we... Oh, boy. I'm so conflicted by all of our adjacent stuff. So conflicted. Okay. Yeah, we're we're bodied by these guys. Okay, so if they do extra damage to shielded foes. We move the shielded foes over here for now. 
and have this just be a healing focused thing instead of a shielding focused thing. Well, we're going to have shields right away. Like, we know that. I mean, this. Don't get me wrong, this sucks. Almost no matter what there. Oh, we're, we're going to get shuffled anyways. Should we use our liquid courage? I want to make sure we save it for, like, the boss if we really need it, though, is the thing. Come on. Oh, God. This is, this is bad. This is, yeah, no, we are, we are hard counted by this. That is for sure. Uh. Uh-oh. This thing is just living. And, ah, uh, yeah, we needed this cleansing ward gone right away, but the problem is we just, there's no chance. There was no chance for us on that. No chance for us on that. We just got, we got hard counted there. That's okay. That's okay. Magic. So this was the top row. Maybe we try and avoid the top row for now. Seems like they, uh, we, we don't do much good against them. Move your target to the area opposite yours. Okay. Okay. I can't tell what that is, though. They're in the back, right? They're in the back. Shoot. Deal 200 damage to your target. Move the target to the area opposite yours. Redirect any enemies targeting you except your target to their next target. Beans. Let's just kill this front line here if we can. Okay. Uh, are they they're not immune to stun. All right. We'll try that out. Stun, good stun. Not for a long time or anything, but all right. This is all it's all going okay. This is actually going really easy, except for the fact that the Wild Mage is obviously going to die. If we lose one every fight, that's okay. But boy. Yeah, just having that one extra makes everything super awkward. Okay, we've got our merchant here. You and all adjacent allies gain shields, so we might actually be able to split things up effectively now. Attack steal an additional 98 damage to your target. We'll split that up. Okay, all right. It's a wild one. I just feel like that's just such a good potential combo. Uh, we, our potion effects are doubled, so we should really keep that in mind. Reduce the speed of all enemies by 80%. All right, let's sell that. All right. Should we fight an elite? No. Will I fight an elite? Yes. Do we have another shop on the way to the, uh, to the boss? Absolutely. Absolutely. Stun disarm silence. Okay, well, we're definitely going to just uh, obviously make sure we cast one of these. Probably Bog Jar. Oh, yep, absolutely Bog Jar. Okay, this is all 
all wacky. Okay. The gladiator is doing our highest DPS now. I imagine the pyromancer will slowly creep up over the, the length of the fight. Okay. So I, I know that this like means our shield will break less often. Each time your shield is depleted. Does it... It says each time. It wouldn't say each time if it only meant the initial one. It just it wouldn't say that, right? Like, that just would not be something said. All enemies are poisoned for 100 damage every 3 seconds. Uh, the double potion effect makes that seem like that's going to be uh, kind of ridiculous. So... Awesome. Hmm. Okay, probably should have been upgrading that in the past. Oh well. I don't know why. I'm just, I don't know why I'm selling that if I'm not going to do anything with it. But oh well. If there was ever, a, if there was a day where it looked like we had a chance, I think it would be today. Uh. All right. Well, we'll just kind of well not oops oops not sacrifice you, but I feel like that'll be good to get that the shielding over time. The fact that it's increased by that thirty percent there, like we're just wanting to keep this guy alive as long as possible. We're we're stalling. He's just I know he's not going to be doing as much DPS since he is the target of one of these actual attacks. Oh, but he actually somebody's dead. He's dead. Oh, we've done it. Oh, we've done it. Another Cobra's Reach. It's an interesting one for sure, but I think we're just going to take the money. Ooh, take the money and run. We have to go... We have to go south if we want to go to one more shop before the boss. Buy a random potion. Lose 15 gold. Buy a random item. Ooh. Oh. So they're just, they're just over here. So we can't... We have them in our pocket, but we can't use them yet? Is this really how this works? That's pretty cool. I think we just do that since we have such powerful potions. I'm confused. Do we really just get to do that? All right. Well, we'll obviously. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Hell. I mean, I just want to get that shield over time effect on you. Uh, once defeated, apply revenge to all enemies. Uh, deal damage. Apply bleed. Move the tar target enemy away from their adjacent allies and then stun them for five seconds. I mean, I don't like that. But, it, you know, it just doesn't... Like, we can't change that that much. Do we want the backline dead? Particularly. 400 damage to all... Wait, do 400 damage to all other allies every three seconds and gain 30 for each ally hit. So maybe we do want the backline dead. He's immune to stun. All right. So yeah, we can't... Oh, okay. So we cannot use those right now. I see, I see. I mean, that, that big... These potions being doubled. Oh, no. That poison. Oh, we almost did it without taking any deaths. The potion doubling is kind of crazy for us. Cure all. 
Uh, when losing 20% of your max HP to a single hit, gain a shield equal to 5% of your max HP, deal 30 piercing damage. We could put the def that, that gauntlet on you. We could, certainly. And I'm, I think I'm going to, actually. Or, but it's not upgraded. Okay, so can we, like, we can swap these out. I see. We can swap them out. All right, we'll go in. We'll we'll, we'll have uh, we'll figure out what we want to do here. Do you guys attack the back line first? You do. Certainly puts us in a janky spot. We should have gotten the extra... Oh, well, no, we shouldn't have gotten the extra potion slots because it was between these two. Hmm. All right, we should be fine. Just using, like, basically using any potion right now, it feels like it does uh, massive work for us. Oh, yep, 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 yep. It's okay. If we lose a couple here and there, we got 44 morale. So, I mean, ooh. Well, we can't, I mean, we could put it on, but it, like, what, what good would it really even do? Hmm. We could put it on. We could put it on the warlock. Ah, uh, let's just let's just send it. Let's send it. We'll head on over to the shop. We'll see what we got here. Maybe we can get ourselves an upgrade. I mean, I'm sure we can. Uh, I'll sell that. What is this though? Attackers increase your attack and by three and speed by three. I mean, that's pretty cool too. That being said, new. I'm thinking we go for the poison. I I'm probably going to not Okay, let's let's sell some of this extra stuff. I don't think I want that. I just want to get up to 100 one more time. That's not going to be that useful on the boss. And let's get rid of one of the cure-alls. Okay. That should be pretty darn good. One would think. We might not even have another fight before the boss. Don't know. It depends on what happens here. All heroes lose 10 max HP permanently to buy a random potion, buy a random item, buy a random item. No. Well... What got upgraded? <laughs> ah. Alright. The whip? Okay. Alright, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. 30 is not... It, it's not nothing, but it's also fine. Okay, so... Let, let's figure this out here. Stun for 8 seconds is interesting. We're definitely taking that poison. That's hilarious. Immune to silence, but not immune to ruin. I think I want to keep the uh, remove status effect. I think that we actually have the ideal here. Stunning the entire front line, though, for the whole first part. You know what? Let's do that. All right. Okay. Back line. Take that poison out of control. Oh my god, look at him go. Look at him go. Look at him go. Okay, I understand. Backline is dead. Good. 
That poison. A hundred poison and the fact that the pyromancer. Look at all that damage from the pyromancer. From the huge Cobra's Reach stacks. The king is dead. I don't know if that's the end of the game because we just got another item. Attackers deal 30% attack damage to themselves. This is upgraded. Um, yeah, I think that there might be more. We must enter the vessel. What is this? It was created after the corruption of physical amalgamation of the corrupted Re Re Revka energy. Allows them to travel between worlds. How was it made? I do not know. However, I can say this is where the fragments they search for originated. Of course, you as well. Do not... Do you not question why you traveled to the tavern into the forest while you left your homelands in the first place? I called out to you all. Uniting us against the coming evil. Uh, you are the fallen fragments the evil searches for. Disconnected from the high mind, you prospered, absorbing the knowledge and strength of your retros or retrospective respective homelands. Some of you even molded in the shape of the folklore and legends. I know this because I guided your falling bodies to surround myself. I knew of the corruption and that I wasn't going to defeat it alone. Let's make haste. Take this boon for the task ahead. The rest of my strength I must save in order to remove the corruption once you made it vulnerable. Final fight is upon us. Oh? Corrupted Avatar. Oh. Okay. Gain hidden. Gain divine while hidden. Can't perform attacks. Deal 100% damage to all enemies. Reduce enemies. Max HP and shield for the damage dealt. Ugh. All right, well, we have an extra ability we can upgrade, an extra passive we can upgrade too. I don't know about this. Deal damage to your target and an enemy directly behind or in front of them. Oh no. Well. Well, shoot. Sketchy. Oh boy, 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 oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, so you do 100% attack damage to all enemies. Sucks. Reduce enemies' max HP and gain shield for the damage dealt. Shoot. Okay. And then these... How many are there? There's, is there actually four? There's actually four. Split all damage taken with other writhing limbs. Oh, okay. That's actually pretty good. Deal damage to your target and the one they're dragging behind. There's four. So that's, like, no matter where we go, we're going to be taking that damage. Um, poo. You just hang out by yourself, my friend? Well, you inevitably get bodied. Apply two leech to enemies hit. All right. That just seems like it might be amazing. Yeah. Since they're all taking the damage together, they're splitting it evenly. Yep, I knew that was going to happen. Okay. Silence. All right, here we go. I think we might actually be okay. We, we got them all out of the way really, really quickly. This poison is going to be stacking like crazy. The burning is really, 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 really doing a lot too. The pyromancer, yes. The pyromancer put in so much work, it's not even funny. Astronaut, I thank you for everything you have done and have yet to do. The corruption will need an anchor to be separated from the seed energy. I will be that anchor. If we succeed, tell them our old one still lives but is in great danger. Farewell, my heroes, and good luck. So long. 
Oh, shoot. There's more! Oh, no. This whole time, I kept using my potions. Each time 10% of your HP is lost, gain 10 negate and apply one revenge to all enemy. That's a problem. Uh, that is a huge problem. Equalizing HP of all enemies ignores summons. Deal 50% of attack damage and piercing damage to all enemies. Then remove all shield and two random effects effect from all enemies. This is a this is bad. This is bad. Or is it? Let's check this. What happens after this cast? Okay, heal. Heal, 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 heal. 800 healing. It's keeping him alive for a good solid extra few seconds. All right, we're in. The negate is almost gone. All right. Come on. Come on. Keep that poison stacking up there. Here comes the equalize and the shield steal. Come on. Come on. Stay alive, Pyromancer. Stay alive, Pyromancer. Here it is, the burst. Okay, we're. I think we've done it. I think we've done it with that. With that, we've done it. Not even close, baby. We better be done. Oh, hell yeah. We did it. We unlocked the alchemist. Corruption difficulties. Uh-oh. Corruption difficulties are unlocked. The alchemist is unlocked. Oh, my. 59% flawless victories. Two defeats. 11 victories. Oh, my God. That was spicy. Oh my god, that was spicy. We we got our first victory. We have unlocked the alchemist. Hello there. Oh no. Corruption. It's ascension. Normal enemies have more HP. Oh. Shoot. Normal enemies have more HP. We got an ascension system. And everybody, uh, everybody's got a little, they've got a little thing above their head saying, I guess, probably the highest ascension level that that current unit has completed, I imagine. So what is the alchemist? We'll definitely be playing with them tomorrow. Your attacks poison a random enemy for 8% damage every three seconds. Okay, and then poison never stops. So that's really good. Every three seconds to, and grants a minor blessing to a random hero. That's super cool. Catalyst, deal 100% attack damage to all random enemies and duplicate up to three random poison effects. What? That seems so good. Could you imagine if we did what we did with the Alchemist, but, or uh, we did with the Pyromancer, but with the Alchemist? That'd be amazing. Uh, who do we get in the next corruption? The Outlaw. Who's the final corruption? Corruption 8. Okay. All right. So that'd be the final one there. We will be doing our best. We'll be we'll be doing a corruption run tomorrow, probably. I, I the same token. I kind of want to see if we can even like reproduce a victory. Uh, but that is gonna do it for today. That got spicy, and now the fact that we know like well one we know the fact that the potions doubling in value is massive. <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> it's crazy. Weirdly crazy. Um, I, I will probably consider looking into that even a little bit more in the future. Uh, but, wow, this has been Astronarch. I love this game. I can't wait to keep on going. We have so much more to unlock. But that is going to do it for today. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Holy moly. Hit the like button. Get the game with the link at the top of the description. Go join their Discord. Give them some love with the link in the description as well. And, hey... Check out my channel for roguelikes and more. Every single day, we will be doing daily Astronarch uh, for quite a while here, I presume, because I'm having such a good time, and the support has been fantastic. It really has. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you, thank you. See you next time. Bye.